Hi, my name is Daniel, and today I am going to be talking about myself and my dog, Odie. We are both loyal, honest, boisterous, and thoughtful individuals, and uh, the reason I started thinking myself in this way is because I really started to value that in other people, and I felt that in order to get that from other people, that sense of honesty, that sense of loyalty, I had to really emulate that myself and be straightforward and be honest and be thoughtful with my uh, communication. And situations that reinforce this for me are when my friends feel comfortable enough to come to me if they're in trouble, if they need advice, if they have a favor that they have to ask me. But conversely, I feel that those types of situations can also work against me in the sense that if it's not something I can really manage to do, the favor or the advice that they need, then I feel that whatever I give them isn't going to be the best and isn't going to be what they need at the time. And someone that I think of when I think of myself in that way is Jimmy Stewart from Mr. Smith Goes to Washington, who was very honest, who had very much uh, a sense of integrity that he maintained throughout the film. And I feel that to maintain my uh, self-concept of myself, that I need to maintain that same kind of honesty and integrity when I'm talking with other people. My self-confluence, my self-concept has been influenced by social comparisons in the sense that I compare myself with my group of friends that I really talk to a lot, that I hang out with a lot, that I see a lot, because they are also very straightforward and honest and thoughtful with their responses. So I feel that I should be the same. And my reference groups are my friends and my family because of that same reasoning. They are the people that I talk to the most. So there's that. Um, I feel that by reflected appraisal, I've been influenced by my parents the most in that regard because growing up, they really instilled a sense of trying to be thoughtful with my answers, trying to make sure that I was clear in my communication. Even if that took me some time to think of the words, they would be patient with me so that I could come to that conclusion. And I feel that I manage others' impressions of me by being straightforward, by being honest in my conversation. And I benefit by not really having to mask myself or hide who I am as a person. Because if I'm being honest, they're going to be honest with me and I don't have to be afraid of that. And lastly, I manage online impressions of myself by not really having a presence online. I don't seek out posting onto Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, what have you, but I do try to upkeep in that if friends are trying to talk to me and reach out for me through there. So I have a minor presence, if anything. Thank you very much. That was my presentation.